All right guys, welcome back to another video by How To Lucid. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the top five lucid dreaming techniques and methods. This is gonna basically cover how they work, roughly how you do them, and basically which ones are gonna be more effective and which ones you should probably stay away from until you're at that more advanced level where you can reliably have lucid dreams anyway. So the first one is the WILD. Now the WILD stands for the Wake Induced Lucid Dream. This is basically a technique for beginners and advanced lucid dreamers, however, it does require a bit of focus. You're gonna to need to be able to learn how to meditate. So the way it works, the wild technique, what you do is you, and you can do this when you first go to sleep or you can do this in the early hours of the morning. So what you do is you lay there, you don't move any muscles, okay? You close your eyes and what you're going to do is to try and keep your mind awake while your body falls asleep. So this happens to us, uh, our bodies fall asleep obviously every night and what happens usually is our bodies enter what's known as sleep paralysis, where it basically paralyzes your muscles and makes sure that they can't move. This is to stop you like acting out your dreams and sort of kicking your spouse or you know kicking the covers off the bed or whatever. And it's a very useful, uh, safe thing that your body does to stop you acting out your dreams. However, in the wild technique, you're going to basically try and keep your mind awake during that process. So if you do wake up during the process, you can it can be a bit scary. You're gonna experience sleep paralysis, it's gonna be a bit unusual or uncomfortable even. But if you push through that and just enter the lucid dream in that way, you're gonna have a very stable lucid dream and it's gonna be very hard to shake you out of that. So the wild is an interesting technique for beginners. However, I would advise looking at some of the other techniques, especially if you've not been meditating and especially if you're completely new to this uh, and you've never lucid dreamed before in your life. The second one is probably one of the most commonly known techniques and that is the wake back to bed technique. This involves, as the name suggests, setting your alarm for the early hours of the morning. We experience the longest period of REM sleep, which is rapid eye movement sleep, in the early hours of the morning in our last sleep cycle. So this means that if you interrupt that and actually target that, you can enter a lucid dream at the time where your REM sleep is the longest and you're also most likely to become lucid. So the way you do this is very simple. You set your alarm to go off at about four to 5 a.m. in the morning. The alarm goes off, you wake up, hopefully you're not too tired, and you basically go back to sleep. You close your eyes again and go back to sleep with the intention of lucid dreaming. It's very simple, however, to actually get this to work properly, it might take a bit of practice. It's not gonna probably work the first time you try it, but if you do if you do practice it a few times, you're gonna have some very good results with this and it's gonna give you some very vivid and stable lucid dreams. So a few things to remember with the wake back to bed technique is that you need to set your alarm for the right time. The only way of doing this really is to sort of track your sleep cycles and, and roughly when you wake up. And then what you wanna do is you wanna work out roughly 90 minutes before when you naturally wake up. That is to say, without an alarm. So track your sleep for a few days, you know, maybe up to a week even, and write down your, your wake up time, as in when you wake up without an alarm, work back 90 minutes, and then set your alarm for about then. When the alarm goes off, it will be hopefully just before you enter your last sleep cycle of the night, and at that time you can just basically enter a lucid dream directly. Use the wild technique and just lay down, go to bed and fall asleep again with the intention of lucid dreaming. Just keep telling yourself, I will lucid dream, or I am lucid, or I will control my dreams. You're gonna have some really good results with the wake back to bed. It's one of my personal favorites. However, it does make you feel a bit tired. If you do this technique, I wouldn't advise to do it before a day where you have to be up and energetic all day. For example, if you're working full time Monday to Friday, I wouldn't advise doing the wake back to bed until the weekend. Just because if you do if you do it wrong, if you mistime it, if you interrupt your last sleep cycle sort of halfway through, there's a very good chance you're gonna wake up feeling very fatigued and sort of almost confused and annoyed the next day. And that, that feeling will probably last for the most of the day, which is where the myth that lucid dreaming makes you tired comes from. It's basically people trying to do the wake back to bed technique and not quite timing it right. So they end up interrupting their sleep and essentially causing themselves to have a sleep debt, which will only be repaid when they fall asleep the following evening and catch up on the lost sleep or, you know, the interrupted sleep cycle that they ruined by mistiming the alarm. So make sure you get the timings right, but it can work really, really effectively. Okay, so number three, we have the MILD. The MILD stands for the Mnemonically Induced Lucid Dream, and it's basically one of the softer or the most beginner-friendly techniques that I know of. It's certainly the technique that I use the most. Out of all of the techniques, I use the MILD and the DIALD more than any of the others because not only are they very reliable, 
but they don't involve interrupting your sleep. You don't have to set any alarms, you don't have to interrupt your sleep cycle or time things or even worry about waking up in the middle of the night. You can just literally go to sleep as normal and you, when you do it right, will naturally have lucid dreams more often. It doesn't guarantee that you'll have them directly, you can't induce them directly like you can with, say, the wild. However, the mild is a very interesting and underrated technique in my opinion. So the way it works is to essentially just constantly tell yourself and reinforce the idea that you will lose a dream. The mnemonic method here is to basically repeat mantras and affirmations to yourself all throughout the day, things like I will lose a dream, trying to train yourself and prepare yourself for the eventuality that you are in a dream and you suddenly do a reality check and then you lose a dream. It goes without saying, by the way, that all of these techniques in this video require you to do the basics, which are writing your dreams down in the morning, meditating for about 10 minutes in the morning as well, and doing reality checks throughout the day. I do have other videos explaining these things, just check the description or just go on my channel and uh, have a look on there as well. So number four is the S Siled. I don't know quite how to pronounce that because there are two S's. It stands for the Senses Induced Lucid Dream. And it's a very interesting and fairly new technique actually. So the way it works is it basically it's a, an elaboration of the wake back to bed technique. You're gonna set your alarm as you would with the wake back to bed and you're gonna wake up and then go back to sleep with the intention of lucid dreaming. However, when you this time when you go back to sleep with the intention of lucid dreaming, you're gonna basically focus on all of your senses one by one. So you're going to go through and basically as you're falling asleep you're going to first focus on what you can hear. Really intently listen to all of the sounds around you, the sounds outside, the sound of your breathing, even the sound of the clock ticking in the background. And then once you've done that for a few minutes, roughly five minutes or so, then you move on to the next sense. What can you smell? And then what can you feel? And then lastly, what can you see? Which at this point you should start seeing some hypnagogic imagery and some patterns and you know colors and lights and things flashing on your eyelids. And then before you know it, you will enter a lucid dream very, very quickly. It might even happen before you've even gone through all of the five senses. If it doesn't, what you should do is focus on going in cycles. So go through all of your senses, focus on each one independently one by one and then just go back to the start again and do it all again keep doing that until you fall asleep and it, trust me it will happen very quickly you will very quickly fall asleep and enter what should be a lucid dream and lastly number five this is actually what I call the all-rounder it's not really it doesn't really have a name but it's a technique that I've developed which I would love to share more about I'm gonna make a new video explaining this technique in detail it basically will combine all of the techniques that I've learned and experienced in a way that makes it very very foolproof especially for beginners but also for anyone who wants to just basically lucid dream as reliably as possible but also who it's for people who don't want to interrupt their sleep and have that tired fatigue feeling that you get after ruining a weight back to bed or after using supplements or you know all of these things which have these side effects it's designed and it will be designed to be the most effective and hopefully the most reliable lucid dreaming technique i'm going to be doing some studies on it it's a very exciting thing that, I'm be, I've, that i've been working on if you do want to see that, please go and make sure that you're subscribed to this channel. Leave a comment, turn on the notifications. I know lots of YouTubers say, you know, turn on notifications and subscribe. It really does help us out and it also helps you out because if you don't do that, you just won't see the, the future videos. YouTube's algorithm is very strange and strict these days and so unless you actually interact with a video by leaving a comment or leaving a like, I'm sure you've heard this before, you won't see any more of those videos or at least, you know, It'll be, very, it'll be a lot harder for you to see those videos. So if you did enjoy this video, it will be a huge benefit for you to subscribe, leave a comment, and just let me know what you think of this video and what techniques you think I should cover in the future. Also, if you do want to learn more about those techniques, I do have videos explaining exactly how to do all of those techniques. Just click on the links in the description, or if you wait till the end of this video, there should be some pop-ups with related videos or you know, suggested videos that I have also made as well. So that's it for now guys, I'll see you next time and don't forget to subscribe, done. Thanks for watching guys, this video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description you'll find links to various Lucid Dreaming products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that.